What's going on YouTube? My name is Zach Sensham and welcome to the channel. So we're back. It's been almost seven months to the date since I made a video. Uh, last video was on December 16th. Now it's not because I haven't wanted to do YouTube or forgot about it or anything like that. Honestly, the car hasn't moved, hasn't even been started since that last video. I brought it home from the shop and it's just sat in the garage. And that's just kind of is what it is. So as you see behind me, we got another truck and trailer, which means the car is finally going to a shop now to get fixed. Not only is it getting fixed, it's getting cam, some other stuff, tune. I figured if it's broken, we upgrade it. Um, look at this layer of dust. poor car is so neglected um so i've had the battery disconnected i've had the tender on and off the past seven months so we're gonna see if it starts should start without a problem at least it's reliable <laughs> um we're gonna get it loaded up on the trailer we gotta stop and pick up a duramax on the way and drop it off at another shop but we're headed to houston i will disclose the location once we get there I don't know how long this video is going to be. Um, there's probably going to be cars there that I'm going to get content of. So it might end up being a two-part video. Uh, I'm not quite sure. I don't really know what I'm doing YouTubing anymore. So we're just going to wing it. And hopefully we get good content. Let's see if this thing starts. It's hot in here. That's uh, crazy. Uh, all right, so I'll probably go set up the camera over there and get a time lapse getting it on the trailer. Um, we'll stop on the way. I might show y'all content of picking up the Duramax. Probably won't. It's not really a big deal. It's not important to y'all. And then we're probably gonna have some talking in this video because I gotta catch you guys up on some things. But you guys probably don't care about that either. Anyways, let's get this car loaded up and then we'll talk in a little bit. On a side note guys, my PSIs are almost 100% where they should be. And keep in mind, the car has been parked in one spot for seven months and has not been driven or moved or altered in any way. So I think I did a pretty good job doing the air ride. Just gonna toot my own horn on that one. Anyways. <laughs> he's in the way, he's gonna have to move. It sounds so bad. <laughs> Shut up. Did you talk shit? <laughs> I don't know if y'all seen. Seen Craig's truck out in the background. Y'all see this thing? It's purple. He had cooler wheels for it, but he broke them. His uh, tire separated. He didn't break them. They're fine. He just needs another tire. Uh, oh, it sounds so bad. Okay, so for shits and giggles, decided to go ahead and show y'all. So we picked up Craig's dad's Duramax because we're taking it to my buddy's shop, which is actually across the street over here. Um, it's a fun setup. So long story short, we'll touch base with a lot of this other stuff later, but no longer at my shop. Being at the shop also prevented me from working on any of my personal vehicles. I literally just didn't have the time. Uh, I was constantly working on customer vehicles and never got around to mine, which is why the car sat for seven months. Um, I decided personal choice that that wasn't the right move for me and my happiness and moving forward and all that good stuff. So I'm currently doing a hot shot, which is the dually and the trailer so now moving forward with that i'm having a little bit more time and money to work on my own stuff again which is why the 300 is getting done it's going to the shop um, and then it'll be getting rewrapped or painted i uh, haven't decided tell me down below what should it be should it be should it be painted 
or should we just rewrap it? Uh, anywho, I'm not going to take up too much time with this. We got to get this truck unloaded. We got to get it over to the shop. Uh, I'm going to move the car back some, get it situated for the trip down to Houston. We're in Waxahachie right now. And then we're going to, want to strap down, I'm going to lay it out on the trailer since we use tire straps. And then we'll be heading down to Houston and we'll see you guys down there. Actually, we'll probably stop at Bucky's and talk a little bit more. But let's get this situated because this doesn't have anything to do with 300. I'll see you guys at Bucky's. All right, it's super windy. It's super crazy here at Bucky's, so I'm probably I'm not gonna make this very long. Uh, side note: having this trailer with the tire straps, and you can actually lay a car out on the trailer. So you can see that it's not actually interfering or touching anything. And same thing back here. So, the car gets crazy attention on the highway like this. Um, but as all boats, they should be on a trailer when you're moving in from one place to another. Uh, <laughs> ping. Anyways. Hopefully we can start making more content. Uh, as soon as the car is out of the shop, I've got some other stuff. We are gonna try to get it done and completed and a new look before We Are Mopar. So that's the plan. Uh, it'll be at We Are Mopar regardless because I've got a bunch of other 300 friends coming and I can't live like 30 minutes away from the location and not go. Uh, so we're getting the car ready. First things first is this cam. As soon as we get to the shop, I'll disclose what cam I got and all that other stuff, but there should be some cool cars there for you guys to see anyway. Anyways, we're gonna get back on the road because it's windy and you guys don't wanna listen to me talk, so we'll get some car content. Okay, so we just got here, which is really funny because <laughs> I'm here to drop this car off and then about halfway here I'm blocking the street I don't know there's nowhere to park this thing so about halfway here I look on Facebook and then a buddy of mine is headed to Houston so I'm like okay cool I'm gonna see where he's headed to this is my boy Ralph that's so crazy I saw your hood in there what's up mm -hmm. buddy yeah. so uh <laughs> yeah uh Ian's not here right now yet. I think he ran that on depot or something. What's up? So, we're here. I gotta get the car unloaded, but uh, Ralph just pulled up in his daily Panda. This is ridiculous. It's got the same hood as me. Then if you don't know this car, this is why I brought my car here because I trust this man right here. Now, we're gonna get this car unloaded. Um, Lewis will be here in a little bit, uh, the owner of the shop. Dion is in here. Oh, I guess I didn't even tell you guys. So I'm at the Auto Lab. <laughs> I sit there and I point it out and I even say it wrong. This is terrible. I could take that out, but I mess up. Anyways, I'm at the Lab Auto or the Lab HTX on Instagram. I'll put it all down here. And if you haven't seen some of the work they've been doing, um, it's actually right over here. If y'all haven't seen the Hellcat swapped Magnum yet, no doors, no hatch. Been rolling it around. Anyways, stupid plane. We gotta get this car unloaded. We'll get some people here, maybe get a tour. They got some cool stuff inside. Um, hopefully. I can get some good content for you guys. I'll show you guys what cam and everything I have. It's all in the trunk. Uh, once it's out, now that good nonsense. So you guys can at least Google and see what this might sound like. Uh, we'll see, it should be good. But I'll spare you guys from all the boring shit. We'll get this get this off the trailer. <laughs> I am blocking the street too. I ain't got nowhere to put it, I don't care, whatever.
So if you guys haven't seen this all over social media yet, so y'all named it the Hell Wagon? That's the name. <laughs> That's the official name. That is the official name. Trademark. Not much, uh, not much left on these tires back here, buddy. Uh, yeah, that was 4th of July. <laughs> that was 4th of July. Yeah, no, I saw the videos. <sighs> Sorry, officer. <laughs> So if you guys aren't following, I gotta do this anyway. Wild. Yeah, I could imagine. How is? How, how is riding in this thing with no doors or anything? It's like a fast ass Jeep. <laughs> yeah, just, just like driving a Jeep Wrangler. Yeah, just like driving a Jeep Wrangler. So if you've ever driven a Jeep Wrangler, just, just a little bit different. Just <laughs> a little bit lower to the ground. A little bit lower to the ground. A little bit faster. Um. I can tell you this, at, at, at 150 on the freeway, you don't even notice that there's no doors. That's hypothetically. Uh, you're just busy looking at the That's hypothetically if you were doing that speed on the highway. Not that, he's, in Mexico. not that he's done that speed on the highway. Just to clarify that for anyone who's listening. Um, <laughs> this thing's crazy. And I love these wheels. I love these wheels so much. I want them. Oh, so saving at this. I love this hood. Got a thing for these hoods. There's the camo boat. All right. Um, what else we got in here? I don't know. Let's go see what we got. I told you guys I'd show you all some cool shit once we got here. Uh, so this is getting wide body too. That's getting wide body too. This whole car is going 2020 wide body charger. Wow. Look at how much wide bodies going on. I like it. I would hang out here. Oh, we got another 300. We got too many 300s here. Uh, let's see what we got over here. Oh boy. I love the graffiti. I really dig that. Oh, hell yeah. Better. Oh, so y'all are one-off metal fabbing it. That's cool. I dig that a lot. Ooh, that looks like a mess. That's cool. So if any of y'all do body work, y'all would know how fun this would be. Um, that's cool. I got like a part of a car over here. Oh, they got more stuff back here. Holy shit. So, all right. That's... <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Oh, I love this color. I was so close to doing this color on my car. Like that bumper up there, people are like, you got one of those turn bumpers? Nope. No, I don't have anything. Don't hit them up for parts. <laughs> Magnum parts. Magnum parts. They don't. They don't exist here. They don't sell Magnum. Um, I dig it. This is really cool, guy. And this wheel. This is really. So if I had my dream shop, this would be, this is a big wheel and tire. Can't really tell in video. But if I had my dream shop that I could just hang out and do pretty much everything that I enjoy doing, this would be it. We'll see. One day, maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. Um, I still got to get my car unloaded. We got to get it parked around here somewhere. The video doesn't do this color justice. I just don't want to do another satin color. Um, still torn, guys. Like I said earlier. Paint or wrap? Like I need a, I need a thumbs up or a thumbs down. I gotta, I gotta figure this out. This is very important to me because once it comes back from here, getting the cam work done and tuned, we gotta figure out. Well, the wrap's coming off, and we gotta figure out whether it's getting painted or it's getting wrapped. Um, and I don't know. This is really cool though. I dig this. It's a lot of work. Metal pad work. Um, once Lewis gets here, maybe he'll start up his car. We'll get to hear that. So that chameleon wrapped 300 out there. 
Uh, he just finished building a 426 for it. That red 300 that was in the paint booth has a 426. I'm not doing a 426. I don't have the pockets for that. But let's get this is basically the tour. Oh, I didn't show you guys inside. Um, let me go show you inside. So they also do wraps here and stuff. So if you are in the Houston area, man, check these guys up because I drove from Dallas to come down here. But this is a wrap. This is Nosatech. I think it's like midnight purple or midnight something or another. Um, if you guys have never seen this color, it's uh Now I've worked with this material. Personally, it, I'm not a fan. It's, it's like a two, per, two people person, two people product. <laughs> it's, a, it's hard to install. It's, the finished product is worth it because clearly you can see like the gloss is, the gloss is better than any other wrap, but uh, it's hard to install. So I'll be back. We're gonna get this off trailer and See what more content I can get you guys. Okay, so that was Lewis's 426 that he just built. And it sounds so crazy. My car's not gonna sound like that, and I'm kind of upset about it, but I'm not, I'm okay. I come to Copes with the fact that my car's not gonna sound like that. And he has the front end swap that I want. Ugh. Anyways, all right, so let's go ahead and, uh... so here's everything we need. Everything I should need, eh, you know. Head gaskets, more gaskets. We're doing <laughs> more gaskets. We got more gaskets. So we're doing the Hellcat oil pump. We have the new lifters. This is all the timing chain, phaser limiter. Um, I think in here is the push rods. We got head bolts. In here we have springs. We have valve seals. And then here is the cam. So this cam is actually the... Oh, can we see it? Oh, where does it say? It doesn't say. Okay. So I went with the MMX Max Effort 6.4 cam. Um, on the MMX website, it says that that's their... I think it... Don't quote me. We'd have to go look. But it's... I think it's their max horsepower cam that they offer. Uh, springs are a must with this, as opposed to, I was gonna go with their their Lope cam, whatever that is, the uh, chopsticks. But uh, we just went ahead and we're gonna go ahead and get some Lope and horsepower from this, hopefully. So anyways, that is what I'm going with. That is the surprise. Um, so it's gonna be down here. It's gonna be at the, the lab, HTX. Lewis will be doing the work. He'll be doing the install for me. Um, we will disclose the tuning information and who's doing that in the next video. Maybe in the next video. In the upcoming video, for sure. Because I'm going to come down there. We're going to dyno tune it because we're also going to be dyno tuning this one, which I'm really stoked to see what kind of numbers he puts down with that 426. Um, these airplanes really interfere with. Shut up! 
Okay. So that's it. That's it for the day. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I'm back. The car is back. More 300 content. Uh, man, I showed y'all guys a handful of 300s today. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, man, thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to follow all these people on Instagram. I showed y'all Lewis's. I showed y'all the labs. Um, I'll plug in Ralph's from the Durango. He's got a badass 300 SRT as well. So make sure you follow all these guys. I'm going to put all those on there. Hey, that's cool. A little embossing. I dig it. It's subtle. I never even knew that was there. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video.